What's going on folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process that I took to hide turf my duck hunting boat. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. Um, guys, if you're new here, make sure you hit the sub button. The main gig of this channel is the waterfall hunts. We'll be putting them out from early season all the way through late season in February, um, and you don't want to miss them. Also, guys, if you enjoy duck hunting, audio podcast content check out the duck gun podcast if you enjoy these videos you'll definitely enjoy that too Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump into today's video like i said guys we'll be doing the hydro turf on the big boat um we'll be doing a whole build on the on the big boat um so this is just part one of that with the hydro turf um so we're gonna be we got the m3 stick pad from actual name brand hydro turf i know there's a lot of uh off brands and maybe some cheaper stuff that you can get, but I got the real deal, the good old stuff from Hydro Turf. It's time to get back to the big boat and the build for that. Like I said, we're gonna be Hydro Turfing it. We'll be adding lights, paint job, you name it. Gonna be doing some good stuff, uh, some fun stuff on that build, um, as well as I wanna get out on the water and show you guys the 23 horse Go Devil long tail that I got on there and how it performs with that. Um, overall, it's an awesome boat. So I'm really excited for this build. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it and get on with the hydro turfing. All right, guys, so in the past, I've gone with uh, some of the camo options, but I really thought that this um, looked pretty slick as far as like, it's almost like uh, decking, but it's a super soft, spongy uh, material. Let's see if I can get one in the sunlight over here. You guys can see, you guys can see that. So it's gonna be super durable, give some good grip, especially in areas like this and the ice with waders on, ice and wet and all that. I mean, it was super slippery. Not only that, but there's lots of nicks and, and uh, rough spots on there. Um, and that's gonna protect anything from there from snagging waders or anything like that. So uh, that's the plan, getting it laid down on this. We're gonna do the seats as well. And then this front little deck on this, hopefully. I got enough of it, um, I think I do, so here we go. Alrighty guys, so um, got everything cleaned up, I actually scrubbed it out last night, it was way dirtier than this, I'm going to touch up some spots, but pretty much did it last night to try to make sure it was dry before I worked on it this morning. So now just there's a lot of pollen in the air, so just blowing that off. And then we're gonna get the cutting. So nice big strip. Looks like it's gonna be perfect size. Kind of fit in there. I'm just gonna go a little bit bigger and cut it. And uh go from there. So here we go. Got the old utility knife, nice and sharp, so you can switch out blades. Not a bad idea for this project. And, like I said, just go a little deep on the cut. Think right through there. Should be pretty good. Um, <laughs> I think that'll be the hardest piece because of all the angles. Um, the other one should be pretty uh, cut and dry as far as they're just square and, well, you know, this actually, this pad right here I'm standing on might be a little hard, but anyways, started on that one and got it all cut to shape. So now I just got to pull off the M3 stick pad on the back and get it down. So let's see how it goes.
have it. So one thing is my knife is making little dings. You can see it, some of it right here. So I'm gonna go back through and touch it up with paint so I'm not too worried about it. Um, the other thing is, man, I mean, I'm through one sheet and this thing was super sharp when I started, it's dull. So make sure you have lots of blades if you're gonna be doing this, um, which I do. So I'm gonna swap them out like every single sheet. Um, but then, man, I got it just off a little bit. Pulled that whole pad off and I got it off square just a little bit um which you can't really tell from far away but i mean it's tighter over there and got like a finger gap over here which you know boats out going through uh so you know unless you're perfectionist i wish i'd done that better but it's just hard to hard to get it perfect man busy so anyways it's tight over here and then it's about a finger finger width over here loose so oh well i'm not gonna cry about it it's still still pretty good um, I'm gonna run with that for sure so all right I think we're just gonna keep running down the seats so the top decks and see what we have left and hopefully we have enough for this section and this section Alrighty, fellas, we got the second panel in. That one actually went in pretty easy. Like I said, a straight square. Had to cut off like two inches and then two panels on the side and it fit perfect. So um, can't complain about that. It's looking awesome. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the seat. It's gonna be tricky right here because I gotta worry about the hinges and the hole and just the gap there um, because that's the wet well. For fishing and I want to keep that uh, accessible for uh, summertime fishing so yep we'll do that one next alrighty well see turned out pretty good as here and having the, the live well there or the wet well whatever you want to call it so it's awesome turned out great only thing is you can see that edge i'd be real nippy in this edge it's not i mean we got a gap on this side and not on that side and that's just because i've centered it up on the um the door right here and my cut right there wasn't perfect so again sharp knife take your time it's hard seeing right through that to get that perfect. And nobody else is probably going to notice this stuff, but when you're doing it yourself, you're going to be nitpicky. Someone else is just going to hop in here and be like, man, sweet rig. So that's what I'm going for anyway. Um, so next up, we got the back. Oh, Jafe. Hi. So last, or not last, but next we're going to do this shelf. And then... We got this, that'll probably be the most challenging right here, this section. So anyways, let's go ahead and get after it. Alrighty fellas, there she is. Got a big mess to clean up, but let's just hop in the boat. But it is looking good, guys. Looking good. I got a mess to clean up here still. But as far as getting this hydro turf in, it went in really with no problem. Um, best key, like I said, pro tips after the fact. Starting the easy stuff first, as you figure it out, you're, you're gonna get better uh, by the end of it. But uh, sharp knife. Uh, if you got a if you got a box cutter with blades that you can swap out um that's great and don't cut yourself i got a couple nicks <laughs> on my hands trying to hold this stuff and cut at the same time but man uh they have two options m3 stick pad and some of the adhesive stuff i've done both and the m3 stick pad uh, is the way to go so anyways here's a final look at it and i couldn't be more pleased so uh, up next guys we're going to be doing lights we're going to repaint it um, we got the blind so stay tuned for the the full part of this boat build and we'll get this out too and show you guys um, we got a go devil 23 horse mud motor 
long tail mud motor on there show you guys how it works with this boat um it is a what is it between 15 and 16 it's 15 foot 10 inches so i don't know if they classify that as 10 or 15 or or 16 but anyways that's all i got for today guys season will be here season will be here before you know i'm jordan ducking chronicles and we'll see you guys on the next one let's go